Call this one Me and My Shadow. Nathan Danette's photograph for the Canadian press of Elena Svitolina at the Rogers Cup is a lovely combination of timing, light, and shadow. Judges said, It was nice to see the photographer take a step away from the usual tennis shot and instead try for something a little more artistic. The light and shadow, the reach for the ball, the dynamic action flowing across the frame, all make for a wonderful composition and a beautiful picture. It's not often you see a wide-angle shot in sports that doesn't look too loose. In the case of this Michael Robinson photo for the New Brunswick Telegraph Journal, though, it's the wide angle that makes the frozen moment meaningful. You can just feel the athlete's split-second effort to keep the ball in bounds. Her expression, her hands reaching out, her pigtail flying. You can almost hear the referee's whistle and know that she's out of bounds even before she lands. Ooh, that has to hurt. You may not notice the broken pinky finger right away, but the expression on the face of the player in the white shirt sends you right back to it. Andrew Francis Wallace's photo for the Toronto Star made judges laugh and feel queasy at the same time. The viewer's eye can't help but move from face to face to take note of the different reactions. The facial expressions of the three main players really engage. And then, there's that finger. The award goes to Andrew Francis Wallace. Uh, the picture is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, he did end up finishing the game. It took about a minute to tape it up, and there was no wear, worse for the wear. I uh, simply just want to uh, thank the Toronto Star for giving me a home for the last uh, 12 years to do the type of work I've, I've done my, enjoyed doing my whole life. And then also uh, my manager, Tara Slonich, who uh, puts a lot of effort into keeping our department relevant with the uh, way the newsrooms are changing over the year. Thank you very much.